So today I am working on the crank web and I must confess I've already made some but I was not happy with it and there was a whole bunch of reasons why and one of them was this table. Now I uh, see if I can see that. No, I can't see it really. Uh, the problem I had is this is an old machine, like I said, and I am just uh, really starting out as a full amateur. So I decided, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it and. Whatever it ends up with, it ends up with. And I'll tell you, I was not happy with what I ended up with. So I took this table to a place and they resurface it. Uh, took about 15 thousandths to clean it up. Uh, I could not tram the head of the round head mill before. And when I got this done here, it was like night and day. Everything's coming out square. All the cuts are good. Uh, I'm not having uh, any issues with the uh, uneven cuts. I'm uh, within to like I'm within point zero 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 five to zero zero one. So uh, I'm fairly happy with what I got. And by all means, I'm not uh, a professional, <laughs> but. Uh, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to remake these crank webs because the other ones just didn't turn out, the measurements were off, all the, all the cuts like here, they were all not square. Uh, I was uh, getting frustrated and not having any fun, so I decided that I guess it was time to uh, just look into the basics. So uh, what I did is I redid these blocks. This is actually two pieces that are glued together. I have the actual pin that I'm going to use for the crank web lining up the one center section. And then I have a bolt here. I, re I drilled those holes already. And you guys didn't get to see that because I uh, wasn't smart enough to charge the batteries. I got all excited that things were going so well. So what I did is uh, sat down and looked at the drawings and figured uh, what I have to do is uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to grab the old old crank web that I didn't like. So what I got here is uh, this is the old crank web that still has the glue from where it was glued together but these holes were not, not even good positions uh, so I tried putting uh, you know I tried putting some uh, new uh, bushings in to try to line them up and the bushings weren't doing it and I tried all that before I had this table done uh, so I just said, you know, I know it's going to be some work, but let's just redo it. So what I got is this is the blank. Uh, these are the two holes here. And what I have to do, I was looking at the drawing, and we have to do these cutouts here first. You know, uh, you have to do these cutouts here first. And then, then I can take it out and turn it sideways, or I can take it over to the lathe. And I think I might, I might do this first, because uh, I might as well since I'm here, I guess. Uh, and once I get these two done and this, then I can take it over to the lathe and cut the full radius on the crank web, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. I'm definitely uh, a lot happier with my equipment right now. Uh, these are in, uh, exchangeable uh, carbide bits, so I'm hoping I get a little better cut than I had on this old one anyway. 
and uh, I'm definitely getting a better finish. So, here we go. Let's see what happens. And I spilt my oil all over the thing. It was almost half full. Oh, was I mad. So let's start out with uh, I'm going to take five thousandths off of this and we'll see how that goes. I would imagine I'll be changing bits on these. I'm going to go 10 because I can. I imagine once we get more into it, it's not going to be very big. But I'm going to give you a little, uh, see if I can get a little close up in there. Mr. Cameraman. So, I think you all get the gist right there, right? So what I'm going to do is uh, go up and down about a thousand more times. And we'll see what uh, we can get back to you. Show you what's going on.